Simply Done, the podcast network. I took one big shit before I came. What did you do? Where were you? Denny's? My house. All right. All right okay. Well, Perry, so we got to get this done. We just got to get What is your bathroom done? like? Your bathroom's going to be awesome. All right. Let's see here. What's uh, going on with you, Dan? When did uh, you poop at Scaremaster's I house? did it long before uh, we had to do Oh, hey, I'm Don. I'm Mo. I'm Scary Perry. And today's special guest, introduce yourself. Dominic Monaghan. What, why are you putting your arms around him? Ah, uh, buddies. Because I got my arm around you, too. Oh, 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 oh. You guys well, are... anyway, join us here on Simply Don the Podcast Network on the Big Three Podcast. Oops, I still got this on. For this week's show, we talk about the big windy weekend. That's right. And it's coming up tonight. It's tonight coming up. And... Well, well, Friday. Oh, the time okay. thing. <laughs> I know, yeah. it's going crazy. We, we found out a lot of interesting stuff. Dom does something from his show. Mm, Why don't yeah, you tell him about exclusive. that real quick? Well, just a little exclusive peek of season two of Wild Things. Hey, can movie. I tell you guys something? You remember when he was on Lost and he he, he was a junkie? Someone sent us a bunch of heroin. Yeah, well, yeah let's let's try it. Don't. Try it. Try the heroin. Just Come on, stop, it. stop. Just chug it. Okay, chug so it join out. us. Uh, stop. Mo, please, seriously, for, for once in your life, please listen to what I'm saying. Now, oh, the interesting thing is, at one point, Perry was supposed to come oh. here kind of colon free, but he's loaded with what right now? About poop. I'm about ready to crap myself. Then you definitely need this heroin. Okay, we'll put it there, guys. So join us this. All right, here we go. Big three. God, you know, it's like. No respect whatsoever. Let go of the hat. Oh, this motherfucking piece of shit. What are you doing? You made a great vote. Get me out of here or else I'm going to shit all over myself. All right, all right. Sorry. Here they are. Oh, shit. I mean, oops. Here they are. Don, Mole, and Scary Perry. The big three. Store in West Hollywood, California. It's the Big Three Podcast. Hi, everybody. I'm in Palabon. I'm all. I'm all. I didn't know we're starting. I was in the back. I didn't know we're starting. Where the f- Harry? 
It's a man man. Hey, everybody! They like you. Say your name, for God's oh, sake. Sorry, Perry Caravello. Ah, hey, yeah. King with of Friday C. Night Comedy. Not a K with a C. King okay. of Friday uh, Night Comedy. How does that happen? And it's you Friday know? night. Friday night. You but miss your night only cue to come out Not here, Friday. and you blow it. You've been here three hours, and blow by it. the way, everybody, hello, welcome to the Windy Weekend, everybody. Thank you for coming from miles around for this. It's a big, big night, and uh, I'm sure that you're wondering what surprises do we have for you tonight. Well, we've got some unbelievable surprises. And Perry, since you weren't at rehearsal, why don't you tell us what we're going to do tonight? Uh, party! <laughs> Why would you encourage stupidity right there, first of all? He's not supposed to do that. You're supposed okay. to get things going. Hey, you know, I think you guys know this song. Play the theme song. No, we already did. It already started from the beginning. We've already done that. My God, is this. By the way, thanks for the new jacket, everybody. Look at this thing. Whoa. Ho, ho, whoa. Just as long as it doesn't get ripped. Like he did the mine. I never ripped your jacket, and I didn't knock over the table. Thank you. Thank well, you. we're going to get a Thank chance you. to settle that once and for all tonight, a little bit later on the show, and see who really knocked over the table. And it's about time that, okay, wait a second. We're going to watch this, and you're going to have a chance to tell us who it is. But today is October 11th. And My daughter's tomorrow, birthday. His daughter's birthday. She wants She's another. 24. She wants 24. Absolute, she wants absolutely nothing to do with you, so please um, don't start that right now. We've got to be very cool with this, and we don't even okay. want to mention her because this is going live. By the way, say hello to VPM because they're streaming this live to the world. Video Podcast Network. Woo-hoo! I'm wearing my VPN hat. Dan, I'm wearing my VPN hat. His name's Dan, Are you? Oh, not Dan. Wait a minute. You know what that means? If you're wearing your VPN hat, that means you have a very secret in the pocket. Oh. What is tonight's secret, everybody? It's gum. It's gum. Look at that. Who's the lucky person that caught that? Now, I think that what we do, this is a regular podcast, even though it's a big night, it's just a regular podcast to us tonight, and we're going to pick up on some of the things that have been going on. Now, as you know, or maybe you don't know, Perry's been in some anger management classes. Yeah. How are those going? What have you learned from that? What's that? What have you learned from that? How to control myself around you two knuckleheads? Yeah, but how come you never apologized last week? What are you talking about? Actually, you had homework. The teacher said, scare master for your anger homework. Go home and get angry and then go apologize to Dan and me. And you never did. How it took you, you almost an entire show to do it. I got a friend who's auditing that class. <laughs> a best friend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, what we've Wait done- a second. Back up. Put your arm around me. Come over here and take that picture again. Freeze no, frame. Perry, no, we're on. I a, no, stop it, Perry. Like stop predator, interrupting like the show. We got like people from all over the world here tonight. All right. Okay. You got the picture. Okay. 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 Well, I think that more people are interested in something you've done recently that people are going crazy about because have you heard his characters? Do you like his characters? All right. Now, which characters would you like to see him do tonight? Right off. Counting, counting, counting. I'm hearing some chat. I'm hearing some Kyle Dickey. Do them all, do them all, do them all, do them all. All right, let's set up a scenario. How about this? Let's say Kyle Dickey is roaming down the streets and runs into Mole and myself. Say cruising, say cruising. Yeah, okay. So it's Kyle Dickey and you run into Mole and I. Hi, guys. Hey, Kyle Dickey. (laughs) Hey, what it's are you Kyle. Doing here? Mo, it's Kyle Dickey. What are Wait. you doing here? Well, my God, look at this audience. We're on the street. We're walking What's down the street. What's going on over here? We're on the guys? street. We're on the street. There's no audience here. Why would you do that? Oh, All right, let's hear a little from Tex Longhorn. <laughs> uh, I say, I say, I say, where the hell am I? Where? Uh, we're on the street. You just ran into me and Dan. Yeah. Okay, Again, you... where the hell am I? I think I just woke up. No, you're on the street, and you just ran into the hole in it. I know, I'm on the street, and uh, just, am I in California? You did no rehearsal at all for tonight's show, did you? Word off. I'm Why don't you do Dexter, your, your black character? Hey, and a big shout-out to all our now, black fans. Now, we're going to talk. 
Wait a second. No, no. I got to tell you, before he does Dexter, you're about to okay. find out why we Wait have Dexter. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold, you hold on. How about a little, I'd rather have the French guy. You want the black guy or do you want Jean-Paul? Oh. Now I got to explain why I added Dexter Coleman, okay? Because I hang out at the Rainbow Bar and Grill, okay? The Rainbow Bar and Grill down the street, the rock and roll uh, restaurant nightclub here in town. West, a lot of people California. got the bow. And we call it the bow, too. Us rock stars and rock star fans. Hey, by the way, before you go on, look over there. There's Lisa Marie, your ex-partner <laughs> no, on the Comedy the you Rock she's Resurrection. My, uh, she's my partner for life. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, tell us about when you, she was eating your asshole, huh? She wasn't eating my asshole. Would you like to hear that? <laughs> you, 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 you got to raise oh, here. We'll do that when we get home. Um, all right, now. Is she staying with you, by the way? Uh-huh. Maybe. Not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> Let me Not tell tonight. you, that's quite a house. You've got Nick there. You've got you. <laughs> and now Lisa Marie. My God, that's unbelievable. Are they all staying? Somebody's got to sleep in the car. That's all. Oh, that's funny. Way to go with that. All right. Now, uh, back. Let's go. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring you back going to Dexter, Dexter Coleman. Okay. Because I go to the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Okay. these They're like family to me. They're yeah. from Chicago, the owners of the Rainbow. That's where your girlfriend works. And Lena's not my girlfriend. She's yeah. a chick that I like, and, you know, we were friends. Now, you one of the guys, one of the, one of the managers there, his name's Tony. And he looks at me and he calls me Tony. Capone. Tony. He calls me Capone. When I lived in Palm Springs when I was a teenager, Dexter Coleman used to also call me Capone, you know, back in the hallways of going through and, you know, from class to class. And stuff. Why do you call you Capone? Because you were sleeping with a tailor? <laughs> like his granddad. Perry, seriously. Like his granddad. Big no. Giuliano. Perry, Perry, stop for a second. We have VPN recording this thing. It is streaming live. So we've got almost 5,000 people watching this right now as we speak. Is that it? 5,000 people? That's like a That's like only one neighborhood. I'll be honest. I'll be surprised if we have 5,000. Uh, I think we've got 500 million watching yeah, us right that's now. Right. Yeah! 500 million. Come on! What are you? Are you a cheerleader? What's going 500 on? 500 million. Let's go! Don't encourage that. Don't encourage that, please. You guys uh, are like, mm, 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 mm. You know one thing that's been going on a lot lately, and we've been getting a lot of grief from fans, and they want to know, because a while back, you ripped off a pretty big person, William Randolph Hearst. Oh, yeah. You I didn't rip him off. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. When you went to Sundance with us, he gave you $50 to promote his movie on our podcast. What was that movie called, Scare Master? I don't remember. I, I, I don't know. I had and you on. didn't remember that night because either. And he... F what you've done... I can't see this now. <laughs> and what you've done is this, is now the world is taking sides. Now, from what I understand, he has the exact same injury that you have. He broke his C2 in his neck twice. He had to have a C4, C5, and C6 replaced. And what is your injury? Front and both sides of C2 are broke. Yeah. Four, five, and six. Basically, we'd say the same thing, and everything would work out. It's a blood clot removed. So anyway, you have been challenged to a fight. Now, is William Randolph Hearst here tonight? Okay. Okay. Here's the deal. You've made a challenge to him, and he is trying to take you up on it. I don't know if he's going to come or not, but what we have here is we have a little video from William Randolph first. Can we open these curtains, please? I get one. You do that one on All right. Now, this is, uh, he said he was going to come and he was going to get his $50 back on pride alone. So, if you will, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. William Randolph Hearst the third. Hi, Perry. William Randolph Hearst here at my penthouse apartment. Sipping um. delicious chocolate brandy that I highly recommend. Mm. It's more delicious than anything Randy Callahan could produce. Um, Boy, right I'm looking there. out uh. here at the Empire State Building, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but the Chrysler Building is tucked away in the corner there. It looks like a Cadillac. And the Empire State Building, you might remember from King Kong, he climbed it twice before he was shot. Um, 
What's amazing about looking at those buildings is I see two of the biggest icons in the whole cityscape, and they were built in under a year and a half during the Great Depression by my grandfather. Now, did King Kong just build them and put them there? Did a wizard just pop them and they appeared? No, they were built brick by brick. Everything big, every legacy is made up of little tiny things, like say, 50 bucks. You owe me 50 bucks. And if I was to let that go, I would let my empire go. And that is how delicate of a balance we all have with the future. So, I'm coming to LA right now, and I'm going to get you. Harry and I are coming to the table. I saw it on basic cable. Harry knocked over the table. Harry's not really disabled. Harry knocked over the table. Harry hangs out at the rainbow. Harry's a fucking dago. Harry never denied being gay though. Wow, the rich really know how to live, don't they? I gotta tell you. Boy, oh boy, that guy looked really hip. What are you doing right now, Perry? Well, I got all of them. I'll, I'll hold <laughs> Let him help you. you. He'll help you. Let me put him in the pan. I'll put him in No! Try to help the guy. All right, hold, well... Let me hold the top of your fucking hands off my shit! I know what I the do. anger management class is not working! <laughs> now, Scaremaster, you've made a challenge to this man. Now, it seems like he's coming out here. Yeah, you did. You the one who made the challenge. You said that I gotta fight him. Yeah, but Scaremaster, you, you guys down? are supposed to kick fight. No, I'm not, I'm not backing down. He's a pussy. Yeah. Talking to the mic. Well, here's the deal. There's been a fight challenge from William Randolph Hearst to Perry, and it's going to be a fight where you're not supposed to hit above the neck. It's all kicking and gouging. If he shows up around here... What, do you, what would you do? I think it's good to be a, the offensive guy and try to get out in his head. So tell him what you're going to do to him when he comes here. Don't my, get my, sexual. Look, Don't get sexual. If you guys watch... If you guys see... My, my leg strength on online, he, he knows he's going to get his ass whipped. Tell him how much you can leg press right now. I can, um, fucking 1,000, 2,500 pounds. Wow. That, wow. 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 Pretty amazing. Pretty fucking amazing. What's the most weight you ever lifted, Scaremaster? I, benching back when I was able to bench two and a quarter. But um, now I'm lucky if I can bench maybe 80 pounds because of because of the neck surgery. Because your neck surgery, right? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people are laughing in your face you right now. You can laugh all you want. Go ahead, laugh all you want. Laugh all you want. You can only bench 80 pounds. Wait a minute. By a round of applause, how many women can bench more than 80 pounds here? Just about every girl. Oh, no, Lisa can. I know my Lisa can. Okay, that was good. Way to add to the show. Uh, when you when you have a blood clot removed out of your neck, yeah. you're gonna lose a ton of strength. Okay, this guy has the exact same injuries you've had. I don't believe it. Well, that's without, what he claims. He can claim whatever the fuck he wants to. Why don't you just but pay him the fifty dollars? I don't have the fifty bucks to pay him. I don't. Why have... don't you do him a favor? From what I understand, you're pretty good at car detailing. Detail his car or something. I can detail his car. Like <laughs> yeah. That's how it all I'm starts. Gonna do, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give him knuckle shuffle. I'm gonna piss pump. No fucking way. Wait a minute. Why what was that? Oh, I says I'm not gonna give him the knuckle shuffle on his piss pump. No fucking way. Is that what you guys wow. call it now? You guys. Uh, that was Dice's. Oh, Dice's you say that so that a cop can't arrest you when you offer it. <laughs> Uh, no. that's, not what, that's not what it meant. It's vague enough. Uh, whatever. Gotcha. Smooth. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, how many guys are here for the entire weekend? Just by a round of applause. How now, many for those, thousands of people do we have why here? Why don't you just shut the fuck up? Uh, now, tomorrow, if you don't know yet, of course, we are having a viewing, a screening of the movie Windy City Heat at the Arc Theater. And... It's put That's on by our theater. pal Jimmy Kimmel right there. Say hi to give a night, Jimmy, a nice hand. 
And now, if you don't know what we're doing, and then on Sunday, we are having an unbelievable time for the VIPs, the people that paid $500 get a chance to go over to your house for a chili cook-off. Whoa! Mo, myself, and Perry are going to cook chili, and the best chili is going to win. Now, the reason I mentioned the movie tomorrow night, because I want everyone here to come in costume. Thank you, your, orgasm. Of your favorite Windy City Heat character or the Big Three podcast character. And what we're going to do, do we have one or two that we're going to take? I, let's see how it goes. Okay. We, pay, play it we may have loose. one, we may have two, but one of you lucky people are going to get a free ticket to come to the chili cook-off. So who's it gonna be? There is one guy I saw a little earlier. Where's the guy that told me he's dressing as Perry? Is he here? I just wanna see him. Where is he? Right there. Step up for a second. This guy might be the early leader. Uh, <laughs> right there. <laughs> what does that do that? <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna scream a little bit, but- We're bringing back Sam Kennison's yell! Okay. Oh! Okay, show them how to do it. Show them how to do your yell. Oh, oh, hey, do it. Scare master, scare master, scare master. Oh. Do it really loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, can I, uh, can I say something dancing since it's not VPN? And you there's absolutely 500 can. million people watching. Can you tell everyone why this pod podcast is different from all other podcasts? Well, I think that most people know that what we talk about on this, not only do we talk about our personal life, then we go ahead and we talk about pop culture absolutely anything so hey like let's get watch scare master pop culture um government shutdown obamacare go uh wait a minute do it as kyle dickey yeah. <laughs> i think people want to hear gay a little marriage, dexter gay i think that gay i'm i'm against the gay thing because i'm i've never seen that side of you before when did you change to Since that? When? <laughs> Self loathing, dude. All right, let's go to personal lives. How's the lawsuits against your family going? My lawsuits? How about your lawsuits? Your suit, your family, how's it going? Personal lives. Personal lives. Wait a minute. You know what? We never get a chance to do this because a lot of times he'll, what will he say? None. None of your business. Right. We but we are in front of a lot of people, and I don't think it's fair that tonight you say it's none of your business. Who would like to hear a little bit about his family? How about your lawsuits with your family? How about your, how about your lawsuits with that guy at the bar? How about Brian LeBrand? How about your brother Brian LeBrand? Your mom loved him a little bit more and gave all the money to you, and you sued him. So what happened there? I don't know. Oh. 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 Why don't we just I, put I the mics I, down and leave the show alone, for God's sake? Come on, Perry. You've got a crowd here that wants to hear about this. I may about have a crowd here, but this is they not a courtroom. They want to hear about this. This is not a courtroom, and it's not legal for me to mention oh. anything about this. If it was, you'd be, oh. you'd be wearing court shorts. Oh, you know what we could do? Here's an idea. The people that paid tonight, we're going to give you your money back for that, and you'll get nothing for that. Is that okay? I, 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 ba 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 you got to talk about something. I think everybody... Does anybody want to hear about my family? No. Yeah. Mole's family? Yeah. Perry's family? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's continued. Lawsuits, lawsuits. It's being continued, okay? It's being continued. That, what does that mean? Know. That... Quit the legal mumble jumble. Tell us what's going on here. I just here. said it's being continued. I don't That's know what that, know. How, does anyone know what that means? No. The court date was continued. Let me ask you something. If you celebrated holidays and you weren't a dogless uh, Jabbaho, would you be having Thanksgiving with Brian LeBrand? No. Okay. Thank you. By the way. You're a witness, the, counselor. For those people that don't know, Perry's going to dead him dedicate himself completely to the Javahos and he's going to find himself a Javaho wife. So yeah. I think that deserves a nice little round of applause. Too. First off, if you would respect my religious beliefs and call it I, by I its do, correct I name. I absolutely do respect it. Well, then why don't you say Jehovah's Witnesses? Because it's a Javaho witness. It's and Jehovah's I will witnesses. tell you this. Read your Bible. You know what would be the ideal Bible. situation for you to find a woman that not only was a Javaho, 
but also Jehovah's had a fake Witness. disability scam. And think of the it's money not, you would have coming in that way. Fake. Yeah. It's not fake. Well, I don't know about that, but I'll tell you what I do know. I think it's time. Oh, crap. <laughs> Does the priest ever read Marley and Me to the congregation? Oh, That'd be really sad. You know what I think, Mole? Wow, 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 your heads, everybody. I think it's time right now that we do something that everybody seems to like, where they can be part of the fun. It's time for the $10 shout-out. All right, we're going to have that again. $10 shout-out! Wow. All right, so now on today's $10 shout-out, we've got a couple of them here. Uh, let's see here. I'll start it out here. Now, this is where you, the listener at home, can write into us, send $10, and it's no checks, no money orders. That's straight cash, homie, and you send it to $10 Shadow Care at Don Barris, 7510 Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood, California, 90064. What did I say? 64. I'm nervous. Nine, zero, zero, Diamond, six, six. I, Diamond Daniel Kellison is here. I'm nervous as can be. All right, here's our first one. Hey, guys, I'm a huge fan of the big three. However, there is something about the show that has been bothering me for a long time. What was he doing? No, was he it's, simulating it's because of the off? neck surgery. Which I got oh, buzz, my arms oh, buzzing. Stop it with the I'm bullshit, the for God's sake. All right, let me get back to this $10 show. People make fun of Perry's incident with that guy over 20 years ago. Really need to get a life. Perry was raped. Thank you. And thank you for reading that. Like people that. really and rape. Do you people really find rape funny? Personally, it makes me sick that all these people have. What's that? Perry was raped. Perry was raped. Perry was raped. Thank you. Thank you. It's about time somebody says Perry was raped. By the way, I've been on your side all along. What happened again well, tonight? you at the beginning weren't, but then you. No, became, no, no. I never we... even know how this Randy Callahan thing got out in the first place. I'll tell you the truth. Bragging, all the constant bragging. Okay, guy. Okay, that's enough. See, I'm uh, as gay as can be because I'm as happy as a motherfucker. Oh! Not quite sure what that means, but. Uh, Oh, you almost tried to pull the All right, chair back to the $10 money. show. Personally, it makes me sick that people make all sorts of insensitive jokes about it. Another thing, like Perry, I too am a Jehovah witness. That's Jehovah, not Javaho. Please don't do this. Have some respect. It's a religion and should not be mocked. The reason I'm so sensitive about people making rape jokes is that just like Perry, I too was raped. Years ago, I was almost thrown out of the church for my transgression. The church elders said that I would have to forget about everything if they would let me fuck them in the ass without lube. What? Wow. Tough church. <laughs> wow. I'll read on. And it also goes on to say, but without condoms. I didn't have a choice. I was in trouble. They lit candles around an altar and they all wore hooded cloaks. And while they made me bark like a dog, it was long and a painful journey. But I did what I had to do to stay a Jehovah witness. Ha ha ho ho. What's that mean? It's all bullshit. You don't know that for sure. You haven't even seen who it's from. I could meet a nice Jehovah witness girl and get married. That's all I cared about in life. Despite being a heterosexual man, my appetite for cock became insatiable after, all, after this incident. I would get such intense cock cravings that I sometimes would go to the Denny's near my apartment and suck guys off in the bathroom. Wow, does this sound familiar about somebody? Over the years, I've paid women, just like Perry has to do. I've had sex with women to try to convince myself that I'm not gay. Like Perry, I've also beaten women to feel like I was macho. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, guys, for just a second, for goodness sake, Perry's not gay. He's a man. I've seen him with plenty of women. And he beats him and up. Perry was like great. Great. But no, we did not make love. We... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I've even made up stories about fake girlfriends, just like the Scaremaster. None of it worked, and I grew depressed. Also like Perry, my life spiraled out of control. Then I started working with a Jehovah Witness doctor. Sounds weird. 
<laughs> it does sound weird. Who dramatically curbed my lust for cock. Through his teachings, I believe I can help Perry and all the therapy that would involve for Perry. What the fuck? Oh, perform aggressive sexual acts on each other. These acts would be so depraved that we would have no longer associate them with pleasure. And it was just a, oh my God, this guy writes everything together. Some of the acts that I thought that I tried to with Perry are fisting my tight asshole, shitting on my chest, jerking me off with his feet, bringing dogs into the bedroom for me to suck or jerk off, getting a horse to fuck my ass to warm up that spicy Italian sausage of his. Perry, let me know if you'd like to try any of these or just happy having these great gay cravings all the time. Yours in Jehovah Witnessing and being raped, Jehovah James. That's Don't sweet. know the guy and I know it's a bullshit letter. Oh, wait a second. Look at this one. This one's a whole present. Mo, why don't you Whoa. why don't you get this one? I think I know who this one might be from. Might be a boyfriend. Who's this one from? It, okay. Okay, it says uh Dimitri Moreland. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Let him Dimitri read it. Moreland? He's got you Perry. Dear Perry, I oh, want to start God. by saying happy anniversary. I wish I could be there for all the festivities, but unfortunately you continue to play games with me. When we discussed this weekend on Facebook, you wouldn't guarantee me that I'd be getting laid and there's no way I'm flying out to LA for just a B job. <laughs> but let me tell you this, I'm on to you. I know that you made up all that stuff about it getting back together with Randy just to make me jealous. I also know okay. that the thousand pound leg press had nothing to do with the hearse fight. You were doing it to strengthen those A muscles so that we could have amazing A sex together. You think you hold all the cards, but I'm calling your bluff. I give you two weeks before you're begging for my hard C word to penetrate that tight virgin A word of yours and fill your body with creamy white passion until it oozes out of you in the most sensuous way. I think this growing tension between us is going to make the sex that much hotter when we finally meet up. We may not leave your apartment for weeks, and when we do, we'll be riding a wave of semen down Reseda Boulevard. Until that time, I've included an anniversary gift that I know you'll appreciate. Love, Dimitri Moreland. And here's a little present open I see. It, open, it, open, it, open, open, it, open it up. 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 Kind of died off there real quick, didn't you? Hurry up. Are you going to save the paper? Rip it. It says, what is it? Open me. Enter, enter Max. It says, Open me. Open me. It might be something else. Oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Dimitri's. <laughs> it's Dimitri's cock. Take a picture. Take a couple pictures. <laughs> Take a picture. <laughs> All right, remember, hashtag WC10, everybody. Never. <laughs> he likes you. He got you a present. You know how much stuff that big cost to ship? What are you doing, Perry? It's a gift. This. Why would I'm you? I'm gonna do? beat you with it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> fight, fight. Come on, show us how you did it. Show us how you did it. Show us how you did it. <laughs> Come on, you Perry. It's it. a gift. Where are you gonna put it? I don't that? care. I'm not <laughs> sucking that fucking thing. That's not for me. Don't look at gift C word with your mouth. I will right, just put Something it here for the time being. No, oh, you guys are no fucking way. <laughs> okay, we'll put it right there. All right. Let's sick. It's fucking sick. Why is it sick? He, likes it. he totally he likes like you. It. He really does. It's flattering. Yeah, be professional. Stay the fuck away from the goddamn Just thing. Just put it in your mouth. One picture and then Dimitri would be happy. Is that fair? <laughs> Pay me a fucking billion dollars and I'll do it. One billion bucks. Would you One be? One billion bucks. <laughs> One billion bucks. Where the fuck is my goddamn fans? You don't. <laughs> one billion dollars. One billion dollars. Wait a minute. What is that? Come here. What is this? How much is that? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion dollars. Bring it here if you could. No, no, no. It's a hundred trillion dollars. Start sucking. That's legit. That's legit. It's legit. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. You know what? Here's the thing. Just don't see. buy Perry gifts anymore. We see how he handles it. All right. Let's yep, do another $10 shout out. 
Oh, hold, on it, hold on to it, Mole. Hold on to it. Put it away. Perry, listen here. We're doing a $10 show. Dear Big Three, I haven't been in touch at all as of late because of, you might remember, I became the luckiest man on earth when I met the perfect woman that I later married. After we tied the knot, I got a chance to step back and analyze my life. My wife has not only brought me stability, but she also brought the Lord into my life. So now I look at things with God in my heart. I now see the mistakes that I've made. Then a few months later, after not working with my soul brothers, the big three, I realized that my wife wasn't trying to help me. She was really trying to take away the only people that I ever loved. I knew that she had to go, and that's why she's no longer in my life. Now my goal is to get back at that Javaho gypsy, something that I have a true passion for. I'm back, and I'm going to be looking at everything this motherfucker does. By the way, isn't October 11th the 20th annual coming out day? It is! <laughs> Hey, and, per and the Javaho Gypsy has never denied being gay now, has he? Your loyal fan, friend, and current worker once again. Dimitri Moore. No. Oh, he Huey the Craig the third. The third. Right. Right. the third. Now we got one last $10 shout out right here. Oh, I, really, uh, I really hope this from Dimitri Moore. <laughs> so Just to kill some time for seconds. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. All right, so here we go. Mole, take it away. It says, uh, greetings, Big Three. I am proud to announce a revolutionary new product in the laboratory of Spooky Sammy Enterprises. Our scientists have truly outdone themselves this time. These guys make great stuff. And we knew immediately we wanted to hire the Big Three as our official spokesman with this fabulous product. Before I get into the details, allow me to share these uh, several facts. Did you know that over half of all Americans wear hats on a regular basis? Did you know that hats can cost up to $60 to have dry cleaned? <laughs> Did you know that hats, which have been dry cleaned at least every three months, are responsible for spreading deadly diseases such as Ebola virus, HIV, and herpes? Behold, Spooky Sammy Enterprise has the answer. We present to you Fedora Fresh. The miracle spray will not only dry clean your hat in seconds, it will disinfect it while leaving a light, fresh aroma. Why spend sixty dollars each time you clean your hat when a single can of Fedora Fresh will clean hundreds of hats for pennies? Oh. We plan on selling these cans for nineteen ninety three, with half of that money going straight to the Big Three's pockets, Scaremaster. So if we sell ten million cans our first month, the Big Three will get roughly a hundred million dollars every month. In order to proceed with this amazing proposal, all we need is for the Big Three to try Fedora Fresh and tell us how amazing you guys think the product is. I'm looking forward to doing some billion dollar business with the Big Three. Best regards, Spooky Sam. Now, do you have that right there? Here's a fedora. Fedora fresh. Here. Why are you being? Because why are you being so disrespectful about my fucking hat? You want me to pull off your hat? Okay, put it in there. Let's see how it goes. Are you gonna spray it or do I? Do you want to spray it? For those people on the podcast, he is now spraying. I'm trying to help you. He's trying to help you, Perry. Just let him try to help you for a second. Okay, it isn't the hardest thing. It's an aerosol can, for Tell God's me. sake. I gotta find Try and help. He is trying to help. What's it smell like? What's it smell like? Let me smell it. it smells kind of like crap. It's got your face on it, dude. <laughs> it really smells like dog manure or something like that. Oh, that it smells one. bad up here. Oh, yeah. oh, that's. Oh, that is. That's. Yeah. It's rough. It, was, it wasn't very nice. I'll tell I you that. Did. I'm being abused. Spooky Sammy, back to the drawing board. I'm being used and abused, you All fuckers. Right. Well, that was today's ten dollars shout out. Ten dollars shout out. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what. Now, yeah, old, before that. we do this next segment, I want you to make me That's a promise. That's your IQ, I know. What are you, what are you, who are you talking no, about? No, this guy's sitting next to him. Lisa puts his arm around her. He likes her. me off. He's yeah, giving you the IQ. finger. Okay, listen. Uh, I'm going to help you out on this. Now, Mole, we're going to do something coming up next that I don't want you to interrupt at all. I don't want you to say a word. As a matter of fact, what I'd like, will you hand me your microphone? No, because I'll tell you, every time we have this segment... You interrupt, Perry, and I don't think it's right because it's, no, it's not mold play. It's time for, no, it's not 
Ten dollar shot. It's sixty seconds with Perry. Go! Go to www.scaryperryskateboards.com. S K the number eight boards.com. Order skateboard decks. You're interrupting Come on, us. you guys! Order boards on scaryberryskateboards.com. You're actually interrupting. This is your chance seconds. to sell some boards. That's what I'm trying to do, and everybody's like, suck that dick. All across the country, people are watching live. I'm Get out there and push it. I'm not sucking a dick because I'm not gay. Okay. I fuck women. I don't suck cock like a homosexual. Harry, push the boards, push the boards. This Come is on, guys, show. order Scary Perry Skateboards at www.scaryperrysk, the number eight, boards.com. Stop! And that was 60 seconds with Perry, everyone. That was intense. I didn't talk. All right, you know what? I got to tell you. Wait a minute, is that a phone call? Is that a phone call? Here, let me see if I can set this up. If you would, please send that call through for us, please. Here we go. Ah, oh, ringy dingy dee. Is this the big three? Hey, Mr. Adams. 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 We have for applause, oh, for applause. Yes, yes. Stroke that ego. All right. All right. RC time. RC time. Roll call. I'm here, Mo's here. Don's here. Scary Perry's Well, of here. course, I knew you. the big three would be at the big three podcast, of course. But who's filling out the house? Oh, yes, Nick, Nick, Nick is there, of course. I was hoping he would. He's one of my favorite jerky experts next to Betty, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> who else made the scene? Let me ask. Who else? Did the cherries arrive safe yeah, and right sound there, and juicy? There. Yep, they're right Dude, here. There they are. Juicy cherries. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Wonderful. One, all the VIPs. All Hiroshima Nagasaki, I'm sure, is there. And Nikki Perez and Dusty Hedberg, Rye Rye Dog, Manny Daskalos. I could go on. I could go on. Eddie Torres. Andy Jacob, Steve Stokel, Blake Sweatnam, no, yeah, so many. Lisa, Lisa Jablonski, no, not making. Did she make little Johnny Nicholas? Anyway, I, listen, we need to move on. Listen, I'm, I'm hustling my way there. I'm hustling my way there. Just so you know, Mama had a bit of a freak sesh about her tube top and jumped out of the Jeep in Westwood. It was dreadful. Oh, is, oh, she, no. okay? is she okay, Mr. Adams? Is she okay? Is she... I don't know if she's okay, Mr. Barnes. You're the one sleeping with her. Well, we're really not sleeping. I'm just fucking oh, the shit out of your lovely, mom. Lovely. Yes, yes. <laughs> Quite literally effing the ass out of her. I had to boil the sheets after that last mud pie palooza. Hey, Perry, you want to know if you're coming this year? You can come. What's that? If, Are you coming? Want to know if I'm coming? Where? I just, yes, I am. I'm coming like an orgasm. <laughs> yes, like an orgasm. Coming like an orgasm, of course. Yes, listen, I'm racing there. I'm racing there. But my fear is I won't be there in time for the big song. We'll be forced oh, to do no. it telephonically. Would that be all right? Have you all been practicing? Yeah, we've yeah, been doing we got it all right, right here. Yeah. Well, let me, let me ask the audience. Does the audience want to hear some awesome tunage? Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. right. let's, let's set this up. Come let on, me set up. Yeah. Set this. Hey, Dan, right, As most know, Windy City Heat was the hottest property in town, destined for sequels, TV spin-offs, toothpaste flavors, what have you. Huge potential, huge. Until that is, Perry slash Stone threw it under the train. But, but I believe it still has a future, a huge future as a wait for it, wait for it. Musical, like, like urine town with twice the urine. Now, now we've tried many tunes over the the last year or so. We've tried a lot of tunes, but this one, this one rises to the top as the theme. Now, let me ask: Will the crowd help us out with it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not not really doing that. Yeah, they will. They will. Oh, they are, they are, they're oh, gonna oh, do don't, it. Don't blow out your poopers. <laughs> listen, listen. Now. When it's your time, audience, you will all sing the Windy City, the Windy City Heat musical. Sound delicious. You'll get, I mean, listen, you'll get, you'll hear it, you'll understand when to come in. And then, then 
You know what? Let's have at it, shall we? Would we like Perry, yes. Walter, Mr. Barnes? Yeah, we'll I'm try. Ready to go. Let's do this. How about you guys? I, as tradition, this is going to be a disaster. So I'd love to back all of you up if you know what I'm. Yes, anyway. Okay, let's try this. Me, 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 me. Everyone knows this too. Me, 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 me. Ready for a hit? Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, Perry, get ready. All right, Perry, here it, here it comes. Get ready. Shake it out. Almost. I'm so get ready. Perry comes to the front and begins. And I'm so fury. And I've seen better, better days. days. I'm out of touch, touch and out, out of time. time. And everybody, everybody says, says I'm a gay. gay. Wonderful, wonderful. But I feel but something brewing through the brewing thing. Stone not feel it in his bones. bones. Wonderful. It this be might be my bad. last chance to knock, knock this down. Stone cold. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're Barbara, big blue and rock. Walter. Now listen to the radio. Now everybody, don't you to remember, remember the Windy City? city. Roll. The Windy Roll. City Heat Music oh. Big audience The Windy City The Windy City Heat Music oh. The Windy City Yeah, there you go The Windy City Heat Music oh. This is a good oh. Wonderful Alright, Mr. Marvis, this is going to be your part next Get ready He's always saying He's just like Marlon B Their Italian style of acting And bisexuality Walter, your turn I got to watch just one thing And the facts can all help me Take it, Walter Can you tell me who that lady Who go with that movie There is a lot of lot of tape Check, check his North Fence fanny pack. Never let it wear in touch. The Windy City Musical. The Windy City oh. Heat Musical. Oh. Oh. The Windy City. The Windy City Musical. The Windy City. The Windy City Musical. In a hundred dollar hat. This is tough. Who counts the money? Wonderful Walter. Perry steals from Uncle Sam. Perry makes a fortune on his fake disability scam. Mr. Barnes, don't tell us his address. We're not sure what we do. Out on Resina Boulevard, 7,722 And here they've got the Windy Dancers. Yes, the Windy they... City Dancers. They've got their tank tops and short shorts. And they're twerking, they're twerking. Yes, shaking it. Moving, shaking, grabbing ball tanks. Very drunk as they skateboarded. Anyone jerk off or two? Don't you remember? The Windy City The Windy City Heat Musical The Windy City The Windy City Heat Musical The Windy City Singing and dancing The Windy City Heat Musical Dance with them, Perry! It's a dance troupe. Just dance with them. Hey, you some props. The Windy City. This only goes on for another three or four minutes. The Windy City. Shake it. Really get sexual. Really. It really gets sexual. Once really you get really sexual. And Perry's kissing the dancers. Yeah, Perry's yeah. kissing the dancers. Perry, kiss the dancers. Right, yeah. Kiss, 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 kiss the dancers. He wants you guys to kiss. He wants you guys to kiss. 
He wants you guys to kiss. Shaking, 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 shaking. shaking. Big finish. Big finish. Da, da. One last chance to kiss those dancers. Kiss them, kiss the dancers. There you go, the Windy City Heat dancers, everybody. That was intense. I thought it was great. Listen, listen. All right. Very listen, nice. I just say one thing. You seem about, very about shy, Perry. The mind brain bowl right now. What's going what's on, Michelle? I would like for a moment to move past the song and let that sink in like a stain on a mattress. But I would like to talk about the screening manana for the one screening? moment. What about it? I've been what thinking about, about Mo's suggestion that we make it all interactivo, and because I too think Windy City Heat is much like the Rocky Horror Pick Flick. Why? The I'll Rocky Horror Picture Let me tell you Show. Why. In so much as both films are huge cult favorites, mm -hmm. and the main subjects of both films are undead bisexual monsters. That's right. That's right. That's right. Makes a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, listen, here's, here's how we make it interactive, all right? What I would like is everyone attending the screening, bring a small, not a giant, not a big one, but a small water pistola. And whenever Perry mentions something zesual, then yank that trigger. Yes, yank the trigger. Like it's dude juice. Like it's dude juice. All precisely, like Walter. Precisely. Like everybody is in a shower of dude juice. Yeah, wow. Are you joking, dude? <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I never joke about dude juice. I never joke about that. But I am joking when I ask, what did Mr. Skeleton say to his dinner guests? Bon appetit. <laughs> Yes, bon appetit, bon appetit. And no I'm comment. giving it for Halloween, as you can hear. And because boning. it's disgusting. And boning. See you soon, lovers. See Toodle you, Mr. Adams. Mr. Adams. Yeah, Mr. Adams. Adams. John Quincy Adams, everybody. The producer of Windy City Heat and still a very good friend of ours. Why is it disgusting? What happened there? I think you're a really good dancer. You, no, I will tell you the God's honest truth. We're in the middle of a dance troupe, and I was thinking, wow, this is going to be great. And you did nothing to help at all. That's I'm not... being fucking molested by these two guys? Uh, oh, okay, they liked you, one. And two, how's that attitude going to get you on Dancing with the Stars? It's not. It's not I'm not interested sure. in Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Mary Jane. Should we check for, stand up? They want a boner check. Check, 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 check. Just show them. Just show them. There's no fucking boner, you fucking homo. Oh, I know who hey, can find I'll that. Oh, Wolfie. That yeah. And this fucking thing is going to lose its teeth. <laughs> no. You grab my dick again, you fucking dog. I'm going to bite your mouth off. All right, nice. that's fair. All right. First off, he Give a nice hand for Wolfie, everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I got to tell you something we're very excited about. Where's that, uh, where's the, uh, the mic, the other mic? It's right here. On the floor. Could you hand it to me? Because right now we've got a treat and a half. We've made a very good friend. Uh, he comes from Detroit, Michigan. Uh, he has come up with songs like Yo Perry, uh, Perry's Gay. Is it Bob Seger? It's not Bob Seger. No, it's not Bob Seger. Ladies and Is it gentlemen. Ted Nugent? Oh, that's funny how you just did the exact same joke, but only less. Uh, <laughs> here he is, if you would, give a nice hand with his For new Madonna. song. Shut the fuck up. Here he is with his new song, Perry Knocked Over the Table, the great Raka, Raka Ali. <laughs> he seems excited. He seems excited for sure. All right, you ready to get this going? You it's ready to rock kick a it? Rock oh, rock a rock alley, everybody! Kick it! Yo, bring you some real truth in hip hop. Who knocked over the table? Not yet. Yeah. Let's go back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Windy City Heat. 2003, new movie came on TV that a sports B.I. who just wants to find a stolen fridge. Perry was a kid with a dream and a fake disability scheme. Perry fucked up the audition real hard. Gave him some part Carson Daly didn't want. Was only on the phone. But Perry got a boner on the set of Oklahoma. <laughs> Perry took some shit while the sun double fucked his bitch. Chilling with the guys munching on Spanish fly. That's another fucking day in paradise. Why was the red man even there? Why did Perry 
make them miss the premiere. Questions remain for the last 10 years. One thing stays real motherfucking clear. Perry knocked over the table. Saw it on basic cable. Who? Perry knocked over the table. Liar! Perry's not really disabled. Perry knocked over the table. Perry hangs out at the rainbow. Perry's all fucking day go. Perry never denied being gay though. Perry sued Mold Don Kimball and Bobcat. Then he damn near ruined the podcast. Got you a contract. Says suck my dick and lick my nutsack, bitch. Sign here while I come on your tits. I'm fucking your bitch right in front of your kids. Contract signed, you belong to me now. Running by Saul Steinberger with Scream Bell. Perry, don't try to fuck with me. Your real name's Kyle, the handjob dicky. Can't get chicks, so you stick in your dick. You won't feed mouth. Hey, leave me alone. AIDS, I'll see you in the street. I'ma break all your legs. Try to fight back with the Java Hope curse. Beat your ass worse than William Randolph Hearst. Perry knocked over the table. I saw it on basic cable. Come on, Perry, Perry knocked over the table. Perry's not really disabled. Perry knocked over the table. Perry hangs out at the rainbow. Perry's off gone to Dago. Perry never denied being gay though. How the fuck do you expect me to get this part? Ricks in this door, Ricks in this door. If you could get me some crap or some poop, when it's good. It's good, the best acting out there is real stuff. It's coming. Yeah, just like an orgasm coming. Sticks and stones will break some bones. Pissing me off, man, it's pissing me off. Why would I deny being happy? Why did I be happy? Perry knocked over the table. Come on, Perry, face a cable. Perry knocked over the table. Perry's not really disabled. Who? Perry knocked over the table. Perry hangs out at the rainbow. Perry's all fucking day go. Perry never denied being gay though. Come on, whoa. For a second, Rocka, grab a seat for just a second. Yeah. You. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're doing it again. You were, let One more time. Come Rucka, on. Rocka, Rocka, oh. everybody, give it up. All right, now, Rocky, Rocka, what went into that song? I did some research. I watched the movie. The best would be the best movie if Perry didn't fuck up every minute right? of it. Yeah, I agree. Every time I watch that shit, Perry's fucking up another line. You know, I gotta tell you something. Here's the great story. At least I'm not snorting any more lines. Oh, that's funny. That was a perfect timing. Perfect timing. I did lines off your bitch, ho. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. He well, likes stop. you. Let's smoke some crack, man. <laughs> Old times. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Both of you. Both of you. Let's settle down. You know what? I do want to make an announcement that tomorrow night at the movie, the world premiere of this man's video for Perry Knocked Over the Table will be played. Oh, come on. Come represent Ruckus Knuckles, everybody. Represent. And yeah. I, and I got to tell you this. It, it takes the song to another level. One more time. Let's give it up for the come best on. guy yeah. I know. Come on. From Detroit, Ruckus Michigan. Yeah. Over Who knocked over the table? Ruckus. Ruckus Knuckles for life. There you go. Rucka Rucka Ali, everybody! There you go. Give Rucka a nice hand. You'll come back for the final song here. All right. Cool. Yeah. Rucka is gay! He does like you. He does like you. Hey, you guys, did you see how much money was on his shirt? Yeah. Wow. I didn't really look. I was watching him sing, but yeah, a lot was on there. All right. Well, we've reached a time of something... Uh, back in June 26th of last year, we had a, a show right here at the World Famous Comedy Store that celebrated Perry 20 years in show business. And that night, we lost somebody who was supposed to perform here. His plane went down in a, the, over the Sea of Japan. Okay, guys, stop. 
What? It's just Perry. He okay. says that because okay, of all the guys, other people please, you please, please. Because I have... What? Per- Shut up, no, you Perry. You kill Nathaniel and Eric and all those other people. That's why he said you kill. Watch me. your fucking mouth, or get the watch fuck your off the fucking stage mouth. Just sit I'll back. Kill you. No, you won't kill anybody. That's Just sit again. down. He's gonna prove he doesn't kill. People Perry, we got a me. big moment happen here. Shut the all fuck right. up. Now, recently there was a there was a YouTube video that was out there that a lot of people thought, "Is that him?" Ladies and gentlemen, let's show you that YouTube video right here. If you would lower the lights, this is what you've seen on YouTube. My name is Timothy Propedic. Terrifying Tim to my American fans. I've been brainwashed by my captors. And I'm here to announce today that America is the enemy. Like my friend Perry Caramello, I hereby denounce all allegiance to the United States of America. Like Perry, I spit on all Americans in the American soil. I will do whatever I can to spread destruction from sea to shining sea, death to America, Death to the infidels. Death. No, I won't do it. I can't do this. I'm an American, an American skateboard legend, terrifying Tim, and I'm coming home. Oh, 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 oh. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, coming back, businessman, skateboard enthusiast, American hero, terrifying Tim Perpetic! That's all. Terrifying Tim Perpetic, American! <laughs> He's back on American soil! Uh-oh. Scaremouse, you have anything you want to say to him? Yeah, I, I know it was all bullshit. Why don't you go to the front? Oh! Here, grab a, you want to grab a seat over here or do you want to stand up? How do you want to do this, Tim? What? I want to stand up on my feet. What? I've been living in a hole for the last God knows how many nights. And I'm just happy to be back on American soil. USA! 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 Did you hear what happened while you were gone? I've heard rumors. Okay. Perry has a new logo for a skateboard company and it's identical to yours. And when he because took it, because it was stolen from him. No, so. not the one. He created a new one, and then I believe your exact quote was, "He's dead now. What's he gonna do with it?" What? You didn't say that. You didn't say that. I never time. said that. Yes, you did. Am I, I lying? Have, I Am I lying have, about this? I might have said it to you face to face. No, you said it on a podcast. You did a bunch of times. You stole my logo. I no, you stole my business. Okay. I've been in the business. Last time I checked, this was a free country. Yeah, USA, 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 USA. And the last time I checked, stealing somebody's business is illegal. Gabich? Wait a minute. Hold on. Tim, Tim, may I say something? Wait a minute. So you're the only person that have a skateboard company? No, wrong. That's all yeah, he oh, did. No, 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 no. Yeah, he st- he tried to steal my name. No, he because didn't. he went, he went. Instead of saying Scary Perry, he went terrifying Tim. Yeah, but how do you know that you didn't do that after him? What? He likes you. I, I was inspired by you, sir. Sir, 
Yes, the sir. first time I saw you on the screen, I was inspired by your style, by your thank you strength, thank you, by your total disregard for what people think of you and how you look. You don't give a fuck. You on walk occasion. out of the house on with occasion. this and that and say, fuck you, everybody. This is me. And that's why I fell in love with you. Thank you. What? Uh, now, and I discovered a couple things. Wait a minute. We let him talk, please, Perry. He's okay. a freaking American hero. Yeah. It's good to have you back, Tim. Okay. A lot Perry. Go right ahead. I, it's uh, not my Perry, job. Perry, a lot of people are screaming for you to suck his dick. I'm not okay. gay. Uh, it, it wouldn't be gay to suck a hero like this. This is a guy that it put the money gay. up. Suck his dick. Oh, what's his name? Stand up. Stand up. I have what something you for you. What? what are you doing with the scissors, Tim? What's going on? This mic. What's that? What's, what's going on? God bless America, Whoa. land that I love. Wow. <laughs> and guide wow. her. And guide her. Wow. Move. The night He's getting intense. He's cutting ball. off his beard hair Let's for you. From the valley to the fairies. To the ocean. Should have gotten bigger scissors. With, <laughs> yeah, Sing it, everybody! God, God bless America, my home sweet home. One more time. God bless America, my home sweet home. The last time you saw me, I was just your average, everyday, 33-year-old virgin from the greater Boston area. <laughs> and since then, I've been through a lot. I saw some things. I've done some things. I've had things done unto me. You're still a virgin. And the one thing I learned living in that hole was that I don't want to die alone. I don't want to die, period. Life is too short. And forgive me, my fucking Boston accent's gonna come back because it happens when I get emotional. When my father, Tom Propedic, he told me one thing. He said, if you want something in this life, son, you go out and you get it. Perry. What? I haven't got a ring. Get the fuck out of here! But I got some here. ringlets! Get out of here! Will you make me the happiest skateboard legend on this stage? Will you marry me? Get the fuck out of here! Will you marry me? You're gayer than shit! Kiss, 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 He likes you! Here you go, Tim. Marry me. Marry me. USA! 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 Did he just bite you? Did he just bite you? You just bit him? You bit him? You just bit him? You bit an American hero? You bit the man who put the money up to get Osama wow. bin Laden murdered for- Wow. You bit somebody again. You and this dog religion's gotta stop. I don't know. Grab a seat here. here please sit down. Are you okay? Where'd he bite you? He really did bite you. My fucking arm. <laughs> <laughs> sit down. Sit down. He's- you know what's good for that is apple cherry with tobacco. 
Sit down, sit down. Sit down, Count Dracula. Sit down. Well, you know what? It's time right now that we do the best thing that we do on this show. Put your hand down. It's time once again. Oops. <laughs> it's you're sorry for I what? I can't fucking hear you. What'd you say? You gotta talk into a fucking mic, Perry. Perry been repeating. Are you okay, Tim? Tim By the I'm way, sorry. if I can just say one thing, I'm we sorry. are so proud to have you back on American soil. You, the great Tim, Tim. Perpetic. It's good to be back. USA! And now it's time that we do the Tim. best thing. Shut up, Harry. It's time we do the best thing we do on this show. It's time once again for a little mole play. Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. All right, now, if you've never heard this show before, this is Mole Play. This is where Mole will take control of this. He will direct a scene. He will write a scene. Then he will cast a scene. What we don't know is, Mole, what are we going to be doing on today's Mole Play? Thanks for asking, Dan. You know, we may never know what happened in that terrifying hellhole where Tim Propedic is. We don't know what kind of tortures he went through, but maybe we can find out with a little Mole Play. Here's what we're going to do. Um... Scaremaster, I'd like you to come over here. You here, come over here. Oh, actually, you can stay there. You can stay there and just kind of lean back and put your hands down. So you're gonna be more. Did he ever answer? Will he marry him? I don't. I never heard. Oh yeah, did answer. you ever answer? You gonna marry him? No. You want to think about? It? You want to think about it? No. Hey, wait a minute. You want the audience to help you out? Should he marry? Him? <laughs> Please, Perry. You know what they say, Scaremaster? Once bitten, <laughs> twice shot. Ah, that's yeah, it. There you go. Um, Perry, does anybody have any water? I can I'm borrow? really sorry for biting a man. There's I'm water really in the back. Uh, there's one way you can make I'm, it up I'm, to me. I'm, Fucking marry me. I'm not gay, Perry, dude. Perry, put your fingers in your ear for just one second. Do you understand what you have here? You have one of the richest people in the world. He's part of the Pepedic Bed Company. He's part of the Kennedys. Billions. You good in there, you marry him for three years, take a few little ass fucking, and then after that, what? you're rich forever. I don't give a shit. Look what you did with your first wife. You married her on purpose, didn't you? You set that whole thing up, didn't you? I am not gay. Did you do... Not, not, you don't have to be... Okay, okay, no. All right, back to no, mole play. Here we go. Scaremaster, here you get the honor, the privilege of getting to be... Terrifying Tim. Put your mic down. So I don't want you to get electrocuted. Lean back. Dan, I want you to be the tough guard. And you know okay. what you know what today is? It's Friday. That means it's waterboarding day. What is, so, what is this now? It's waterboarding day. It's waterboarding day. Waterboard Fridays. Waterboard Fridays. You're okay, this. So. I, I, know. I know, I know. So okay, so you just gotta tip your head back. The whole thing is tipping your head back. You gotta get your because it's supposed to replicate drowning. What? Oh, God damn you, my fucking neck. Okay, well, then uh, don't go back too far. Okay. Um, and terrifying, Tim, if you would, I'd like you to be uh, a member of... Oh. Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, you can take your fingers out of your head. Tim, Tim, I apologize. You can take your fingers Tim, out. Tim, you get, you, I want you to be a member of SEAL Team 7 who comes in and saves yourself. But in this case, Scare Mash is going to be you. And getting waterboarded by the big mean garbo play. Tip your head back. Tip your head back. Waterboarding. Waterboarding. <laughs> it's waterboard Friday. <laughs> oh. And here comes Seal Team Seven. Save him. Bang! 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 <laughs> Save him! Bang! Save him! Make love. To We're him. from America. Are you awake? Are you awake? You're so happy to see him that you want to show him your affection. With a Thank big... God. Thank God. And He's kiss... an American. He's one of ours. And kiss him. Kiss him. And they kiss. And they make out. They make out. And that's Mo play. Uh, lips really like each other. No more biting. 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 Wow. wow, that was... That stuff got real... Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. Mole play. 
Okay. All right. This is going way too fucking far. Not yet. No fucking respect. No fucking respect. No motherfucking respect. Who are you talking to? You want to talk about no respect? You bit me with your teeth. You bit me. And he likes you. And I you propose also- marriage to you. I'm I beginning am a torture. Man. I'm not gay. I'm not a homosexual. You never deny Cut that. it the fuck out, you fucking homo. All right, let's close out with the song. Let's get it. Where's Rocka Rocka Ali? Everybody, we're going to finish it out. Perry, you ready to sing something? Thank you for coming to the first day of the Windy Weekend, everybody. Tomorrow night, don't forget, at the Art Theater, we are showing Windy City Heat. Then we have a Q&A from Jimmy Kimmel and the world premiere video from this man, Rocka Rocka Ali. Perry knocked over the table. Let's bring it home, Perry. Come on. What am I supposed to do? What's that? What am I supposed to do? You know this one. Sing the fucking song. Yeah, okay. Act professional is the right dance. All right, here we go. Let's bring it home, people. Everybody.
Sorry for biting you. You want to know what? I'm serious. Sorry. Really sorry for biting you. Fuck you! Yes. All right. And with that, thank you to VPN for recording my hat? this. Uh, thank you to everybody. Thank you, Jimmy Kimmel, for putting this whole thing together. Where's my hat? The movie. Bobcat Goldthwait, Brad Moore. Where the fuck is my hat? We'll find it, I'm sure. They are all the same, aren't they? They're not all the same. Okay, well, then it's going to be hard to figure this one out. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Now, if you want to keep it going a little bit later, the Barris Kennedy Overdrive is playing in the room next door, so stick around. Son of a bitch! Good night, everybody! Hey, if anyone sees a black fedora, Perry's missing it. If I find it for you, will you marry me? Will you think about it? I will. I fucking promise I will. Can we please get Perry's hat back? All right, take it easy. We're going to find it. If you have Perry's hat, it's going to be a, the rest of the weekend's over if we don't find that hat. Look at what I got, Scaremaster! Thank you so much. Go make out with Terrifying Tim. Thank you, guys. Keep these hats as souvenirs. There you go. Thank you guys, good night.